What's going on my dudes one step here with another Mortal Kombat 1 video today I'm gonna be showing you five things you might have missed in the new sector gameplay trailer Because not only do we see more sector gameplay But we also got a ton more story details and after watching the trailer more than a few more times I caught some things that I was like that is interesting So subscribe here for more Mortal Kombat and fighting game content and let's go over the things you might have missed the first time around I mean, there was a lot of Easter eggs or things you might not have noticed the first time like right here in this scene It's actually scorpion fighting in the background and I think that's reptile. He's fighting and then of course we have the Iron Man Easter egg later on in the trailer during her fatality And I bring that up because I think this is a Captain America Easter egg I mean, this is Johnny Cage. We got the red white the blue. We got the star This is like the beginnings of Captain America's movie There's a lot of uh, what seems to be MCU Easter eggs in the new Mortal Kombat universe So we got like the whole Thanos all the stars the rings the power stones, whatever I don't know. There's a lot going on, but these are what I think are obvious So we're gonna be going over things that I think that aren't really that obvious and things that I think matter more than just these things. Like first and foremost, this scene right here. You and Sub-Zero won't earn the Empress's mercy. You and Sub-Zero won't earn the Empress's mercy. Okay, so that is the very first time ever that we hear Chameleon speak. Even in the first part of the story, she showed up for a brief moment as like her cameo and she became a cameo later as we all know now, but this is the first time that we hear her actually speak. So what does that mean for her being in the story? She's in a full on trailer. Is she like Sector's right hand woman? Like what's going on here? Like her speaking really matters because not only in the first part of the story, but also in the gameplay online, she doesn't have any voice lines. She doesn't like come out and speak she hardly grunts i think if she gets hit you know playing online in the gameplay but to hear her actually speak means a couple things she's gonna have more lore more background to a character hopefully and more of a presence in the actual story which will give her character more depth more personality like she will have relationships with these other characters so using her as a cameo in the game will now feel maybe a bit more personal maybe a bit better you might like cameo more as a character or as a person rather than just like you know hating or loving her moveset you might like her or hate her as a character now i know that's not really a thing you miss you know her talking but i think it's not something that people really sat down and thought about and i know we all saw Jax as a cameo have a new move right here boom that's not really the part you missed what i bet you missed is he has armor as it comes out so as you see Jax come out he'll go through projectile and then still grab daria so he that is actually an armored move now sector i don't think is blocking during the the time that he comes out so that is an ambush move by the way she's in the air when she calls him or you know as soon as she landed she calls jack she's he's got armor goes to projectile grabs darius and as we see immobilizes darius so essentially quan chi can't use darius as the cameo while he's being immobilized but the big point is he has armor as he comes out and i'm really hoping that we might be able to use that move as we're blocking because if we can do that That'll really negate a lot of pressure with your opponents trying to go for good jabs, good pokes, and then save cameos. If we can read it right and call Jax even while we're blocking to do this move right here to, again, immobilize our opponent's cameo, that'll be... That'll just be huge. So I know we all saw the new move, but I bet you didn't see that he has armor during it. And then you know the scene where Sub-Zero just absolutely chases Havoc? Like, see ya! Listen to Sector's voice right here. That sounds a little bit more like she has more of a connection, more feelings towards Bihan than just serving a master. Like if it was your master jumping out after the bad guy, you might be like, oh shit, dude, what are you doing? Come back here. Uh, she's full on like calling him by name Bihan, you know, and feels really worried like, no, He's gone. Oh my gosh, what just happened? What, what, what is he doing with himself? Just, this sounds a bit more, um... Yeah, I don't want to say like love, but almost kind of like this sounds like Sector might love uh, uh, Bihan. I mean, it might be platonically, it might be like more of a friendship thing. Like she just loves serving him, you know, I, I don't know. But it just sounds like she has more feelings, more of a connection, more of a relationship to Bihan. Uh, maybe he doesn't feel the same way. Maybe she just, you know, grows to love him. She first of all loves his insights and like, you know, she loves his ideology and what he wants to do with Lin Kuei. But now 
maybe that has grown into more than just loving his ideology. Maybe she grows to love him and, and he has no idea, but she's got these like side feelings for him because when he runs after Havoc, man, she's like, be on no. And it sounds more like uh, more feelings than just uh, serving a master, in my opinion. Maybe I'm reading too much into it, but that's kind of what I'm feeling. That's kind of what I'm getting from that statement right there. And then check this part out right here. What does Johnny Cage get hit with right there? Ooh, wait, what is that? That is an Ermac projectile. That is, that is literally a projectile from Ermac. Boom, he is far away. That is legitimately a projectile, but Ermac, as we know in the gameplay, doesn't have a projectile. So is this only a in you know cinematic thing that will happen or will Ermac be getting a new move? Will Ermac be getting a projectile in his gameplay because he's clearly got one in the cinematic right there that's got some range i would consider that full screen range maybe you skipped right past that oh he just got hit by an ermac move but i consider that a projectile and as he doesn't have one in his gameplay i think he might be getting one one that i think is a bit weird that kind of caught me off guard i don't have an explanation as to why it happened but for the fatal blow right here uh, as we see they skip the animation like she goes into it and then the fatal blow just starts like fatal blows have an animation where they're like hi -ya! and like both her and the cameo will stand there posing and then go into the hit they skip all of that i'm not quite sure if they skip it for the sake of time like oh we we, we want to make the trailer as fast as possible go ahead and skip the animation or it, it might be a bit more deliberate than that and they might be skipping the intro animation for i don't know because they show the background right here so my initial thought was okay maybe they're skipping the animation to not spoil something that might be in the background but we see sector we see sonya nothing's really spoiler in the background so why are they skipping the animation i i actually i don't know but they clearly do they, they start they start the fatal blow and then just goes right into it there's no animation no hit so we don't even know how sector's fatal blow actually hits because is it a missile is it anything we i don't know like are they changing the ways that Fatal Blow is working. I don't think they're changing the whole Fatal Blow system, but they're definitely skipping that animation for a reason. I don't have any real speculation or reason as to why. I just saw that. I was like, oh, it's kind of weird, but uh, something that you might not have noticed the first time around. Chameleon now speaks. Jax has armor for his cameo move. I think Sector is in love with Bihan personally. Ermac might have a projectile, and they're skipping a Fatal Blow animation for unbeknownst reasons. Let me know what you noticed in the background of this trailer that other people might have missed the first time around. These are things that I noticed. If you enjoyed this video and you want more content like this, what do you do? And subscribe here for more. We got new videos Monday and Friday and we stream twice a week. Turn that bell on so you don't miss a thing. Take it one step at a time and go ahead and click into these videos next for more Mortal Kombat news, guides, reactions, and more.